Welcome to Quick Train Modeler's video training series. In this module, we'll take a look at Quick Train Modeler's powerful yet easy to use batch scripting capabilities. With batch scriptings, you can develop automated workflows that allow you to apply a set of commands within Quick Train Modeler to tens, hundreds, or even thousands of LiDAR files. With batch scripting, you can convert your LAS files from one coordinate system to another, generate raster surface models from your point cloud data, or produce point density grids to assist in the QAQC of your LiDAR data. Batch scripting can be accessed under the File menu and selecting Batch Scripting. This launches the Batch Mode Scripting dialog. The buttons along the bottom allow you to load an existing script, save your current script, or execute the script. For our first example, we're going to develop a script to batch convert the coordinate system for some LAS files. From the drop-down menu, we're going to choose Import Model Data and then Add Action. This is the first process in our script. This launches the standard Import Model dialog window, and we'll select the QTA format to ensure that we're loading the full point cloud. Now we'll select a prototype file. It's important that the prototype file have the same structure, and in this case coordinate system, as all the other LAS files that our script will be processing. We'll select one file and then click Open. In the LAS import window, we'll confirm the settings and click on the Go button. This won't add any data into Quick Train Modeler at this point in time. It'll simply add the command to the list of scripted actions. We'll need to add one more action to make our script complete. From the Action drop-down menu, we'll scroll down to the very bottom and choose Export LAS New CS for New Coordinate System. Clicking on the Add Action button launches the desired geo-registration tags window. We'll check the box next to Override Native Data Projection. And then we'll change the coordinate system to UTM Zone 17. Now that our script is complete, we can choose to save our script and or execute the script. To execute the script, we're going to click on the Perform Script button. Now we're going to select all the files that we want to participate in the script. To select multiple files, hold down the Shift key and then select the list of files. Once we open those files, we'll need to select an output folder. This is where our reprojected LAS files are going to go when the script is complete. Once we click OK, the script begins to execute. The blue bar across the screen indicates the progress for each individual LAS file in this case. Now that the scripting operation is complete, we can go and open one of the output LAS files and indeed confirm that the coordinate system has been converted to UTM Zone 17. For our second example, we're going to generate DEMs or digital elevation models from the LAS files we projected in the previous example. We'll choose Import Model Data again as our first action, only this time under Model Format we're going to choose QTT for the gridded surface format. Once again, we'll select a sample LAS file, and in the LAS Import dialog we're going to adjust the cell size settings so that our cells have a grid size of 5. Under Gridding Options, we're going to adjust the options so that they are reflective of that of a DEM, or Digital Elevation Model. You can read more about the optimal settings in the Help. Because we have a classified point cloud and we only want to use ground returns for our DEM, we'll confirm in the LAS filter selection that the ground class has been selected. We'll then click Go to add that action. The next action we're going to need to add is Export GeoTIFF. We'll add that action and simply click on the Export button. This will add that action to our scripted actions list. Now we can perform the script. Once again, we'll shift-click and select all the LAS files we wish to process. We'll click Open, and then we'll select the directory for which we want our output Digital Elevation Model raster files to go to. Clicking OK will execute the script. Once our GeoTIFF DEMs have been generated, we can pass them along to our GIS users. Within the GIS software package, they can mosaic those rasters and work with the digital elevation models using their standard tools. In this way, Quick Train Modeler's batch scripting capabilities function as a powerful processing engine, allowing you to extract meaningful information from your LiDAR data and pass it along to your GIS users much faster than if you were using the standard commands available in your GIS software packages. 
Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure you visit the Applied Imagery website and check out our other video tutorials.